slide in the driver's seat, appreciate the rich scent of the bridge of Weir Caps pin, and press the gem enter into the space. There's a piercing whir, similar to a stream motor spooling up, and after that a sudden blast, a percussive, growling wave of sound that rattles windows and startles bystanders. The normally suction 5.9 liter V12 in the engine of the 2018 Aston Martin Vanquish S is right around 20 years of age, and it will soon be pensioned off for Aston's amazing new twin turbo 12 barrel motor. Be that as it may, it's not going delicately into that goodbye. What's more, nor is the Vanquish S, the remainder of the Aston's fabricated utilizing equipment that goes back to the first Vanquish propelled under Ford Motor Company's possession in 2001. This present auto is successor, without a doubt, a radical new group of Aston Martins to be taken off finished the following five years, will be founded on the all-new vehicle engineering that made its presentation on a year ago's BB11. The Vanquish S has the creaky sat-nav screen, the unintelligible instrumentation, and alternate flaws that have been a piece of the Aston encounter since the Ford years, yet don't discount it as a yet another erratically British car time misplacement. In spite of its blemishes, it is a painfully lovely, profoundly alluring Super GT. It begins with that motor. A retuned consumption framework with bigger volume delta manifolds implies more air into the ignition chamber and subsequently more power, 580 horsepower at 7000 revolutions per minute, to be exact, up from 565 horsepower. UK what's more, EU adaptations are evaluated at 595 horsepower because of the accessibility of higher octane pump fuel, torque stays unaltered at 465 pounds to foot at 5,500 revolutions per minute. Those yields appear to be shockingly sickly against the 600 horsepower and 516 pounds to foot directed out by the 5.2 liter V12 in the standard DB11s. However to judge the Vanquish S motor exclusively on the numbers is somewhat similar to viewing a David Lynch movie on Quiet. You're missing something basic. Aston Martin asserts the Vanquish S will put them to 60 miles per hour in a portion under 3.5 seconds, and achieve a best speed of 201 miles per hour it surely feels snappier than the old auto, because of a retuned 8-speed program transmission that not just conveys better low-speed smoothness and refinement yet additionally crisper moves under load. It begins with that motor. A retuned consumption framework with bigger volume delta manifolds implies more air into the ignition chamber and henceforth more power. 580 horsepower at 7,000 revolutions per minute, to be exact, up from 565 horsepower. UK what's more, EU variants are evaluated at 595 horsepower, because of the accessibility of higher octane pump fuel, torque stays unaltered at 465 pounds to foot at 5,500 revolutions per minute. Those yields appear to be shockingly iron deficient against the 600 horsepower and 516 pounds to foot drew out by the 5.2 liter V12 in the standard DB11. Yet to judge the Vanquish S motor exclusively on the numbers is somewhat similar to viewing a David Lynch film on Quiet. You're missing something basic.